Hey YouTube, another video and today I'm going to explain to you about stepping motors. Some people ask me how they work, how to, to drive them, so I've decided to make this tutorial that tries to explain it. Um, basically we have two kinds of stepping motors. We have unipolar ones like this and they come usually with five or six wires and we have bipolar like these ones that come with four wires and that's what we're going to discuss we're going to discuss the bipolar ones today the unipolar ones they pretty much work the same only you need to provide them with uh, their own uh, voltage source um, and ground sometimes but um, they work pretty much the same in any case here we have a bipolar stepping motor it's a small one taken out of a scanner and here we have an L293 which is a dual H bridge and here we have a voltage regulator which just regulates from 12 to 5 the 12 is used to feed the H bridge so that it feeds it to the uh, stepping motor <coughs> and the 5 is used to feed the inputs and, um, and also the, the chip itself, power the chip itself so um, inside the stepping motor um, there are coils, they wind up in a way uh, of how many steps uh, you want to produce and you can see all sorts of uh, pictures of that on the internet but um, the way they work, um, you can see that I've drawn here these two coils and the buttons activate the coils that are inside here so this one is connected to this H bridge, it's one and two and this one is connected to this H bridge and you can watch a previous video that I made you can about um, <coughs> how to drive a, a quartz clock mechanism and in there you can see pretty much the same ID only the H bridge I made it um, out of transistors so if you want to know what exactly happens in this chip that's a good way to learn but in any case we're going to see how we exactly drive these coils and the way it goes is that we are exciting um, a single coil every time it's called a 1-1 phase excitation and you can see that if I press 1, 2, 3 and 4 1, 2, 3 and 4 and every time we're giving a high so we're driving the coil in this direction then we're giving a high to this coil and we're driving it in the same direction and then we're giving a high to the other end so we're driving it in the opposite direction and also the other one and that's how we complete a cycle and at this point you understand how you need to provide the input signals to the stepping motor to the H bridge that, that controls it and from here on you can use any method you can think of um, to make this, this motor run so you just need to provide inputs um, according to the pattern that you just saw which applies to all stepping motors and for that example I can just take this um, pre-programmed chip here and um, if I I've prepared preloaded um, code into it <coughs> that um, that follows the exact same um, pattern that I just showed you here so I'm just gonna short out the buttons with the outputs of the the chip and you can see that we're driving the stepping motor um, 50 cycles in one direction then it delays a bit and then it does 50 cycles uh, to the other direction and by cycle I mean the pattern that you just saw so the whole pattern and um, this is a 1-1 one, one phase excitation um, method but 
We also have two two-phase excitation method, and uh, that means that we're going to excite the two coils at the same time, and that gives us more torque in the stepping motor. And for that, we need a bit stronger stepping motor. That's a 24 volts. So I'm just going to set it up here, and then you can see how two-phase excitation works. Now I've connected the larger stepping motor. This is a 24 volt one, but I'm feeding it only 12 volts. And this one is a 2-2 phase excitation. So the previous one, the smaller one that was here, you saw that we only excited a single coil at the, at the same time. To drive this one, we're going to excite both coils at the same time, and that allows, that gives more torque um, to the motor, so it, it, it has the capability of driving um, heavier things, and um, the pattern will be one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. And you can see that we're always exciting two of the coils, the, both coils, and that keeps it locked at the same position, it gives it more torque. But um, this, is, this is the way it works, and this pattern again, you can um, replicate it on code and just put it on a chip and let it um, drive the motor for you. Um, that's about it, that explained it. So if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask and um, leave a comment, I'll do my best to answer. I hope you liked the video, and if you liked the video, then please subscribe to my channel. And that's it, thank you for watching.